Even though her loved ones had abandoned her, the tiger's behavior was shocking, little Katya lived in a Russian village in the middle of the Siberian plains, where it snowed often, she and her family resided in a little wooden hut, but her golden curls and stunning blue eyes were enough to get her fame, taking care of their little farm and selling their harvest in the neighboring town was their lifeline, young, rich man named Ivan came to the village one day, the gorgeous Katya captivated. Ivan, the son of a city merchant, the moment they laid eyes on each other, despite the worries of her family, Katya fell for him as he courted her with lavish presents and kind words, she married Ivan and uprooted to the city with him, even though her family was against it, when compared to Katya's existence in the village, city life was extremely complicated, Ivan grew up in a wealthy family that lived in a lavish mansion. Aware that Ivan's feelings for Katya were transient, Katya quickly moved. On, he was always gone for work, and she felt abandoned and lonely as a result, Katya was elated to learn she was pregnant since she had hoped that a child would bring joy and stability to their unhappy marriage, but Ivan was really irate, in his icy and distant behavior toward Katya, he blamed her for ensnaring him and derailing his future goals. The isolation and hopelessness that Katya felt during her pregnancy only got worse, after her hurried marriage to Ivan, her family rejected her, and she longed for their love and support, she tried to get in touch with Ivan's family, but they were too busy worrying about their son's fame and fortune to pay attention to her situation. Without anyone to help her, Katya went into labor in her mansion on a faithful winter night, though her heart was burdened with grief, she gave birth to a lovely baby girl. The prospect of her daughter experiencing the same feelings of abandonment and unlovedness that she had as a child broke her heart, even though she knew Ivan would never accept the child. Desperate, Katya made a choice that would change her life in an irrevocable way, braving the frigid Siberian forest, she bundled her newborn daughter in thick clothing and set out, she continued to trek into the bush, holding her infant close, her face contorted with frozen tears, she did it because she felt it was the only way to save her daughter from pain and suffering, even if it hurt her heart, devastated. She found a lonely area beside a frozen river and poured her heart out to God, she hoped her daughter would find a better life in the forest than what she could offer, sobbing as she laid her infant in a cradle she had made from branches and leaves a soft sound came from behind Katya as she turned to go, a pair of blazing eyes appeared in the darkness as she gazed back, startled, she was frightened, but as her vision cleared, she saw a magnificent Siberian tiger advancing on her and the infant. After grieving the passing of her own cub just days before, the tigress felt an overwhelming pull toward the orphaned baby as she walked compassionately toward the cradle and sniffed the baby, her maternal instincts kicked in, as if she were holding her own cub, she delicately placed the infant in her mouth and cradled her, as Katya followed the tigress and the infant into the thick Siberian forest, she could not tear her eyes away from the incredible sight before her. Katya felt a whirlwind of mixed feelings as she saw the wild animal protect her daughter from the harshness and perils of the environment, Katya felt a twinge of shame for leaving her kid in the first place and doubted her desperate actions, but she was grateful that the tigress saved her life as the days stretched into weeks, Katya's maternal instincts were too much to bear, she knew she had to return to see how her daughter was doing, risk or no risk, since she could not bear to be apart from her. Despite the severe Siberian winter, she returned to the den with unwavering resolve, her approach was cautious. But she noticed the tigress closely monitoring the infant, who was only a few weeks old at the time, the tigress seemed unfazed by Katya's presence, she watched with curiosity as Katya cautiously approached her daughter, the infant saw her mother's face and extended her little arms to embrace her, holding her kid close to her chest, Katya's heart filled with emotion, feeling incredibly fortunate for the baby's well-being. She looked down at her rosy cheeks and bright eyes and couldn't help but cry, as Katya spent countless hours cuddled up to the tigress and her daughter in the den, she came to understand that the tigress had taken on the role of a surrogate mother, caring for and protecting her child in a way that Katya herself could not, she was quite grateful to the magnificent creature for helping her out while she was down and out, Katya realized it was time to head back to the village as the weather warmed up and winter faded, because she cared for her baby and wanted to offer 
Her a better life, she knew she couldn't spend forever in the wilderness, she thanked the tigress in silence for saving her daughter's life as she sadly said goodbye to her, there was a lot of uproar in the hamlet when she returned with her kid, her account of the mother and daughter's friendship with the tigress and their subsequent survival in the bush astounded them. Everyone embraced Katia's daughter with wide arms since she was a courageous and altruistic mother, Katia and her daughter had a tough time of it in the village, she had to put in a lot of time and effort to win back her family's confidence because they were still reluctant to embrace her, she was so committed to provide the greatest life for her kid that she took up odd jobs to make ends meet, Katia noted that her daughter Myla had her mother's beautiful golden hair and dazzling blue eyes as she got older, she became a proud mother after naming her daughter Myla, which means courteous in Russian, Myla was captivated by. The tale of the tigress who rescued her as she grew up listening to stories of her incredible survival in the Siberian bush. She frequently sought Katya's opinion on the tigress and her feelings of intense desire to meet her, Katya resolved to take Myla back to the forest as soon as she was old enough because she would never forget the debt of gratitude she owed the tigress, she hoped her daughter would get an up-close encounter with the natural wonders and the beast that had rescued her, in reminiscence of the tigermother's cave. Katya returned to the Siberian forest with five-year-old Mila, leading her along pathways. She had walked before, the excitement was building in Katya's heart as they neared the den, the tigress, much to their astonishment, was standing by their side, Mila displayed no signs of anxiety as she gently approached Mila, who she recognized immediately, she strided over to the tigress and extended her hand in greeting, her grin beaming with self-assurance, surprising everyone. The tigress nuzzled Mila tenderly after sniffing her hand, as if recalling the bond they had shared as babies in the bush, Katya watched the incident unfold with her eyes welling up with tears, Mila, Katya, and the tigress spent many days in the woods together, the tigress appeared to relish Mila's companionship, and Mila was overjoyed to be in its presence, they had an extraordinary connection that went beyond differences in species as they played, explored the woods, and had fun, Katya noted that the tigress was agitated one day while they sat beside the den, she moved restlessly, letting out low grunts. A party of hunters, armed with weapons and hunting dogs, had entered the forest with the intention of catching or injuring the tigress, while Katya noticed activity in the distance and recognized something was off, knowing that the tigress was in danger caused Katya's heart to pound with anxiety, Katya acted on an impulse and yelled at the hunters, capturing their focus. She explained their connection and her role in bringing the tigress there as she begged them to spare the animal, but the hunters were unfazed. They saw the tigress as an enemy and continued to shoot at her, the tigress reacted in an instant, her ferocious growl sending the hunters fleeing in terror as she charged at them, to defend herself and her adopted family, she battled valiantly, summoning all her strength, in a desperate attempt to reach the tigress, Katia snatched Mila's hand and dashed towards the mayhem. She was terrified of losing the tigress and the special relationship they had developed, even though she knew the hunters were dangerous, as they neared the action, Katia noticed a hunter fearlessly shooting at the tigress, she dove headfirst into the tigress, dodging the weapons hot that was meant for the monster, Katie kept going, protecting the tigress with her body while she fought to stay aware through the agonizing pain, the tigress, incensed by the assault on Katie, engaged in a violent battle, Swiftly chasing the hunters away with her formidable fangs and claws, the tigress crept up to Katie as the woodland fell. Silent, and she gave her a little nose nuzzle, Katie knew she had protected the tigress and her youngster to the best of her ability, and she smiled weakly as a result, as she drew up to Myla, she extended her hand for a final embrace, wondering and grieving at the same time, the tigress quickly realized Katie's critical situation and rescued Myla by snatching her up by the scruff of the neck. Now that the hunters had left, the tigress did her best to care for Katie's injuries, licking them and keeping her warm all night long, Milo marveled at the tigress's selfless actions as she helped her mother, as time went by, Katie's health started to improve, she thanked the tigress from the bottom of her heart for saving her and Mila, and despite her weakness, she was determined to get well, the tigress just purred to acknowledge their kinship, for Mila's sake. Katie knew she had to get out of the forest and back to their town as soon as she felt stronger, with a heavy heart, she said her goodbyes to the tigress. Vowing to always remember her and the invaluable gift she had bestowed upon them, as Katie returned to the hamlet, her relatives' feelings were mixed, 
They were happy to see Myla and her, but sad that her husband wasn't there. Even yet, Katie was determined to provide a better life for her daughter and herself. Working as a healer, she was able to secure employment at a nearby farm. Because of her lifelong fascination with wildlife and the outdoors, Milo was always curious about the tigress and wondered whether they would meet her again. Over the years, Milo matured into a beautiful young lady. Milo once went exploring in the woods by herself while Katie was busy with her patients. Something seemed to be beckoning to her. She could feel a draw. She followed her gut and continued into the woods until she reached a clearing she knew well. The tigress was waiting for her, much to her surprise even though she was getting on in years. The grace and wisdom were still there in her eyes, as she had done when she was younger, Myla came gently, reaching out her hand, the tiger sniffed Myla's palm, then, much to her surprise, prodded her gently with her nose as she continued to venture deeper into the forest, without hesitating. Myla followed the tigress's instructions, they trekked for what seemed like an eternity until they finally arrived at a secret lair deep within the jungle, two cubs were waiting for them. The tigress had become a mother again, much to Myla's surprise, knowing that the tigress had found happiness since their previous encounter brought tears to Myla's eyes as she watched the cubs play, years ago, the tigress saved her and her mother's lives, and she was grateful to her for that and for showing her how precious life is. The tigers came up to Myla one more time as she was getting ready to go, and they nuzzled her tenderly. It seemed like they were saying goodbye, knowing they might not see each other again. Myla returned to the village with a heart full of thankfulness and a fresh admiration for the splendor of nature. Along with continuing to support her mother in her healing profession, she became a wildlife conservationist and spoke out against the plight of endangered animals like the Siberian tiger. That's the end of this story and now let's watch another similar story. The story takes an unexpected turn as it centers on the fearsome mama bear. It explores the idea of going against one's natural inclinations and concerns in order to find assistance from an unexpected quarter, while highlighting the value of the qualities of kindness, patience, and listening, which are frequently disregarded in today's culture. In this age of individualism, many people turn a blind eye to others less fortunate, seeing generosity as an opening to abuse. In today's society, it can be quite challenging to understand people, let alone different species of animals. But the story that's about to be told shows how helping someone out in need may be as simple as being patient, kind, and empathic. Fifteen years ago, there lived an old man who had been a forester all his life in a little village in the Coriola region, their young son, daughter, and son-in-law all lived with him, he would often go into the neighboring forest to enjoy its natural beauty and plenty of fresh food, he set out to get blueberries so he could spoil his cherished grandson, he was so excited to surprise his grandchild that he went deeper into the woods in quest of the best fruit, he became so absorbed in the peaceful task of gathering, Berries that he forgot everything about his environment, unsure of how he had arrived to the bottom of the enormous chasm, he soon found himself standing on its brink, the tranquility of the woodland was disrupted by an ominous growl, which he knew signaled impending peril, it came from a huge bear, making its disapproval of his invasion of its territory very plain, lucky for us. The seasoned forester had packed his weapon, ready for any unexpected encounters like these bear sightings that might be in these forests. He swiftly fired a pistol into the air, hoping to frighten the massive beast into running away, the bullet surprised the bear, and it briefly retreated, but it didn't move an inch, showing signs of not wanting to leave the area, the forester could tell the bear was up to no good, since it still wouldn't budge no matter how much the weapon threatened it, the forester looked around and saw the bear's determination, a hapless cub lay close, caught and unable to free itself, without knowing how to help her young, the mother bear stood vigil over them, her instincts telling her to do so, the forester saw the imprisoned cub's condition and understood that it would pass away without help because it was hungry, unprotected, and susceptible to other predators. He thus vowed to free the endangered species, despite the inherent dangers of the task. Fearing the mother bear might retaliate violently if she thought her cub was in danger, he approached carefully while brandishing his penknife, he painstakingly worked to free himself from the clutches of the trap, each minute filled with suspense and expectation the trap finally gave way after several anxious minutes of painstaking work, and the cub was freed, the forester hurriedly left, turning around to go back home, so as not to annoy the mother bear anymore by staying too long, 
he felt the unsettling shadow of the bear following him the whole way, a constant reminder that the beast was probably watching his every step, he broke. Through the forest's edge, taking comfort in the expanse of the field beyond, he turned around to see the adult bear still lurking behind the trees after he felt he was far enough away from the forest, even though she didn't say a word, her look betrayed her appreciation for his help, the forester, bewildered by the bear's mysterious stare, left the woodland, heading homeward about a year later. The old forester was still waiting for his daughter and son-in-law to come back from their journey to the city to get a new crib for their soon-to-be baby. He felt uneasy because of how long it took for them to arrive, an irate neighbor stormed into his home out of the blue to break the terrible news that a bloodied bear was prowling the streets of the village, strangely clutching something in its teeth. The forester quickly grabbed his weapon and, with the help of his fellow villagers, opened fire in an attempt to drive the bear away, but it was all for naught. The enormous beast yielded as it saw the forester approaching, dropping a bundle of red fruit to the floor before fading into the darkness as the forester saw the old bear, a realization washed over him, as he got closer to the fallen item, he was horrified to see an infant covered in the worn-out fabric of his daughter's dress lying exposed, tragically worried about his daughter's future, the forester took the infant in his arms and set out on a treacherous adventure into the heart of the forest. With the help of an unexpected companion, a bear, a crumbling bridge, long deserted, and giving in to rot, was their destination, his seriously wounded but living daughter and son-in-law lay beneath its weathered framework, the forester hurried down to be by their side, his heart racing with nerves of panic, the discovery of his daughter's feeble pulse brought a wave of relief, it was a ray of hope in the otherwise hopeless circumstances, sadly, the woman's spouse perished in the tumble. The woman was taken to the closest hospital for immediate treatment after a rescue squad was called for, after she had stabilized and was starting to feel better, she related the terrifying experience, she had convinced her husband to go with her to a place she had loved as a child, and they had to cross the old bridge to get there, in the midst of the chaos, she had a glimpse of what she thought was a bear before she passed out from the strain of the fall, the forester understood the significant importance of the bear's assistance after hearing this story, the same animal that had saved. His cub had now saved his grandson in return. The forester might have avoided a catastrophic loss had the bear intervened sooner, during that moving epiphany, the forester also realized that the bear's earlier docile conduct was a subtle way of showing her appreciation for the rescue of her baby, 